ladies and gentlemen, in this video today, we're going to be going on a 24-hour challenge. But, fellas, there is a catch. We have to abandon this challenge to pursue the biggest buck of my life. And, fellas, he is an absolute giant. And, fellas, we're going to pour all our resources to go and get him. Okay, fellas, it's time to practice shooting the bow. They can nail ourselves deer. Now, practice makes perfect. And we have to be a marksman to get ourselves the mounter buck. But, fellas, we're going to be using this pumpkin of mine. He's a bit, let's just say, spoiled. And I think he will make a great target. But, fellas, without further ado, we need to start by practicing. Right on the money. Now, fellas, I think we are ready for the deal. Okay, fellas, we're doing a 24-hour challenge. Now, we are deer hunting. And, fellas, if we get ourselves a deer now, this is going to be the easiest challenge in the world because we're going to have so much meat we can eat forever. It's gone, but in 24 hours, we're not eating that much. But fellas, it's been pretty quiet this morning, and the challenge started at seven, because that's what time I pretty much kind of stand technically. But so, so we have until tomorrow morning at seven, or maybe a little after, you know, if there's another critter. But fellas, hopefully we get a deer because that'll be quite clutch, and that'll be a pretty easy way to end this challenge. But fellas, I don't think it's gonna work out like that. It never does because fellas. Okay, fellas, that was an uneventful morning. I mean, there was no deer. There was barely any squirrels. It was pretty quiet. But, fellas, we have another plan. Okay, fellas, say like there's nothing out here this morning. I mean, I'm starting to get quite famished. My stomach's growling, but we're fine for now. We can still function, thankfully. But we need to figure out a new meal plan. We gotta figure out another thing that we can hunt. Because, fellas, we cannot go on like this, of course. So, fellas, I'm thinking we need to go after some rabbits. Now, fellas, there's no rabbits around this joint, of course, but, fellas, I think I know a spot where there might be, and hopefully we can get some so we can stop starving. Okay, fellas, it is about the middle of the day now, and our stomach is starting to get a little more uh, riled up, if I do say so myself. I mean, I am starting to get a little famished. But fellas, we're gonna have some uh, tasty hares coming up soon, or squirrel, or grouse. Either one, I'm really hoping for a rabbit or a grouse, cause that'll be quite the appetizer or full course meal, if I do say so myself. We are past breakfast. Now it's on to lunch, and if we don't get lunch, then for hell, fellas, we just gotta hope for dinner now. I don't know what we're gonna do for dinner. Hopefully, if we get ourselves a nice of rabbit, that'll tide us over for dinner, because I'm wanting to go back after them deer, because if we get a deer, that will not only feed us for a challenge, it'll feed us for a while, and everybody knows, deer is quite the delectable meal. But uh, besides that, fellas, hopefully I'll catch you all when we find ourselves some delectable creatures. Fellas, if you do recognize this joint, this is where we hunted the coyotes and foxes months ago. Now, of course, there's grass and no snow, but fellas, I reckon, see that tree line right there? I'm reckoning that there has to be a swarm of degenerates in there. Now, fellas, the mission for today, we're going to walk along this tree line. We're going to find ourselves some degenerate. We're going to smack them down, eat them, and hopefully we'll have time to get after them deer because, fellas, the deer... I have a feeling in my bones that they're on the move. And when they're on the move, you gotta be on the move with them. But besides that, fellas, we gotta go hunting. Okay, fellas, the hunt is on. Now it's midday, and my stomach is rumbling, and we need to find ourselves some degenerates to eat. Because, fellas, as you know, the body runs on food. Whew. What do we have there? Hold the phone, fellas and hold the phone for the stomach. We have ourselves some activity from deer. Now, we obviously can't hunt deer right now, I mean, look. But fellas, we just got to, oh my goodness, another one. But fellas, we just got to stop and admire one lovely little scrape, I mean, two scrapes out there right there. We just got to back away and mark this down in the old noggin. That is looking very nice. It looks like he's starting somewhere right there, but. That is a massive scrape. That, oh my god! Never mind. Look at that. 
look at that, fellas. I did not see that for the first time around, but oh my. Okay, fellas, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought because usually in a few weeks, this is all, you know, starting to die. It becomes a little more easier to walk through, a little more louder, so it really scares them away, but right now it's pretty lively, quite thick and voluptuous, so it's hiding these rabbits pretty nice, but fellas, I think I'm determined enough to, you know, scoot one off and, of course, whack him. Hell, fellas, I might just switch out for a goddamn bow. This is looking like heaven for deer, of course, but my stomach says otherwise. It has the cravings for a degenerate. Okay, fellas, now, that was a bit of a disaster. I'm not a bit of a disaster. A complete disaster. I mean, it went worse this morning. But, fellas, the plan is now to go get ourselves a delicious deer that just consumed. But besides that, fellas, we need to get one. Okay, fellas, I am still quite hungry, of course, and I am hankering for a nice, delicious buck, doe, deer, whatever, whatever it may be, I am hankering for it, but fellas, we gotta wait for dinner to come. Oh my god, fellas. I mean, just look at the size of this heifer. He is quite the specimen. I mean, he is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 10, 13 pointer. I mean, he's a monster. And fellas, I'm not quite sure how far he is. I know he's in between 35 and 45. Now, fellas, that is a pretty big difference when you're shooting a bow. Now, fellas, we cannot risk this shot because I want to risk wounding this heifer. But fellas, hopefully he'll give us another shot. in my life, hands down. I think he was at like 45, definitely above 40, but I just didn't really know the range. Cause, well, I can't, can't really shoot that far out there because there's so many junk in the way. I think he was at 45, but I didn't know I didn't want to lose one, miss him, or worse, wound him. Hopefully he comes back later in the season or tomorrow, whether it works. But it's better to let him walk and try and give him another day than either wound him, which is the worst case scenario, or miss and scare him off for good. But besides that, fellas, I'll see y'all when we're back at home base. Uh... Uh... It was a nice evening hunt, fellas. The doe came by with her children. They were gallivanting, eating the shrubbery, and just having themselves just a grand old time until he came. Now, fellas, this is why I like to call the brute. Now, the brute, he is a horned up six or five pointer. I don't know, he's a tiny little fella. He's not big enough to shoot because I made a commitment not to shoot little fellas this year. But fellas, he is a degenerate. I mean, he's going after a doe with children. I mean, dude, chill out. She has fawns. I mean, he's scaring away fawns. He's pissing all over the place, just creating a scene. Finally, the brute has left. He's done scaring away the children, and he's done pissing all over the place. But, fellas, we have ourselves an even bigger problem. This mother doe, she is, uh, not as dumb as those three. She caught me. Not completely caught me, but she, uh, 
is looking at my tree, trying to eyeball me. Now, worst thing is still a stick, but fellas, that cannot last forever. I mean, this heifer doe is just monitoring, going around me, around the tree, just trying desperately to catch me off guard. But fellas, we survive, and she eventually pisses off. And fellas, we did not get caught, shockingly. Okay, fellas, a doe and her little fawn came along, and they just, uh, breezed by, took a little sniff around, took a little munch on the leaves, and of course the doe looked at me, and she didn't really know why I was, and she got a little bit, uh, frazzled. But fellas, all in all, this was a mostly successful event. I mean, we did have multiple chances to shoot at deer, but after seeing that supreme delectable heifer, we're just going to keep on hunting for him, or even better, a bigger one. But besides that, fellas, this sadly means it is the end of the hunt. Thanks for watching, fellas. If you want to see our last deer hunt, video is down to the left. And of course, fellas, if you want to learn how to kill some ducks, video down to the right. But besides that, fellas, I'll see y'all next video. See ya!